Hello, I'm Jackie Kavler and I currently write psychological thrillers for HarperCollins. Welcome to my writing room. As I record this, I've actually got a new book coming out this week. And obviously, normally I might be having a book launch or, or doing something else, doing something else out there in the real world, but not this time. So it's great to have the opportunity to welcome you into my little world um, for a few minutes. So this is my writing room. We moved into this house in Gloucestershire last year. And of course, one of the first things I had to do was decorate the writing room and I found this fantastic book wallpaper which I love. I'm also surrounded here by some of my very favourite things, some of them book related as well. These are earrings which are made from miniature book covers from my very first book um, and that was a gift from my publisher when that came out a few years back and I've also got my prize possession, my fossilised dinosaur tooth which I'm slightly obsessed with. This was actually a 20th wedding anniversary present. When my husband said, what would you like for our 20th anniversary? I think most people expected me to say an eternity ring or something like that, but no, I wanted this and uh, managed to track one down and I absolutely love it. I've also got, hang on, hang on, hang on, some fabulous cushions over here, including my Black Beauty cushion. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I've probably read that book a hundred times over the years. And I have my Philip Pullman cushion with this fabulous quote about stories being the most important things in the world, which of course they are. So that's my little writing room. Um, isolation, self-isolation, all very odd times at the moment we're living through. Um, I suppose in some ways this is a slightly unusual household in that my husband and I are both still at work. He's a doctor for the NHS, so obviously he's quite busy. And I work for a TV station and we're still broadcasting. So although we are working on with a much reduced crew and, and reduced hours, I'm still doing that four days a week. But the rest of the time, like everyone else, we are here at home uh, doing a bit of gardening, painting the fence. Um, we've also both registered as volunteers locally to help out people who are maybe elderly or, or staying at home for other reasons and need help with their shopping and prescriptions and so on. So we're on the register for that. And I'm trying to do some writing as well. Um, my new book, as I said, is actually coming out this week as I record this. It's called The Perfect Couple. It's coming out with, I'll just show you the cover actually. Uh, here we go. Let me see. There you go. This is coming out with HarperCollins, um, one more chapter in ebook and audiobook initially, and then the paperback follows. This is a book set in Bristol, so not too far away from here in Gloucestershire. And it's about a couple who have just recently moved to Bristol. They seem to have a perfect life. And then Danny, the husband, disappears, vanishes overnight. Um, it's also about a serial killer investigation which the police in Bristol are running. And it soon emerges that maybe the perfect couple are not quite the perfect couple after all. Maybe it is all a perfect lie. So that's the new book that's coming out. I am trying to work on my next book at the moment as well, which is another standalone psychological thriller. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to concentrate on writing, actually. So I have been doing a lot more reading. And in fact, on my Instagram account, I've actually set up my own little book club as well in the last few weeks, just really to connect with readers, find out what everyone is reading through this difficult time, uh, give each other book recommendations, support other authors as well. Uh, so that's been really fun and that's been a great distraction. And I have been reading some fantastic books recently, actually. Um, and one of the uh, authors who I've discovered in the last couple of years and who I'm very much enjoying is Will Dean. I'm just trying to open my Kindle here, bear with. Come on, there we go. Um, Will Dean, um, he writes fantastic books. This is one that I've been reading recently. Um, it's called Dark Pines and it's about a death news reporter who works in a very small Swedish town and ends up getting involved in solving crimes. And he's actually a great author to follow on social media too, because he's very adept at surviving in isolation, because that's kind of how he lives his life um, in a forest in Sweden. So a great, a great recommendation though. I really rate those books. I think they're brilliant. So that's it really. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope that you are surviving these strange times. Reading definitely helps. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Take care, stay safe.